Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So let's just jump right in. I'm using the Smashbox 15 hour wear hydrating foundation and I'm sorry for this video but I don't I lost the footage for the outro and the intro so it's kind of gonna look a little bit weird but let's just move past that. Um, don't forget to follow me on my social media. Um, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat, and also don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. Um, so this is just my everyday winter makeup routine. Um, it's usually what I do on lazy days, like when I have school and stuff like that. Um, and now I'm just going in with concealer. I'm using my Sephora concealer in the shade 13, Custard, I believe. I will have everything linked down below, by the way, if I don't remember any shade or stuff like that. And I'm just using my beauty blender that that is broken on the top, but let's just move past it. Um, and just blending that all in to give me a nice highlighted and awake look. But as I was saying, this is good for like every day when you don't want to wear eyeshadows, lashes. Pretty much it's just a full face and just like simple on the eyes now I'm just baking with the Kat Von D translucent powder I'm not really baking with it I'm just like taking a bunch and setting my face setting my under eyes um, the thing with this is it's kind of drying on my if I bake for too long I have like dry patches around my nose so I, tr I tend to stay away from baking with this powder so yeah I'm just dusting that all over um, and especially on my smile lines because they crease like no tomorrow and I hate that now I'm just setting the rest of my face with MAC cosmetics um, powder in the shade NC42 I believe um, this is their studio powder I forgot the name again I will have everything like that below now I'm just contouring with Benefit Hula I've been obsessed like I do not put this down I use this every day this and the Makeup Geek contour shade. But yeah, I'm just using the NARS Laguna, um, not the Laguna, NARS um, contouring brush. The NARS Eda brush, there you go. <laughs> and yeah, just slimming out the face. I always have to contour, I don't know. I feel like I can't do a face, like a foundation concealer and like not contour or bronze. I just feel weird. But now I'm just bronzing um, with NARS Laguna. Again, another one of my favorites. I have to buy another one. I'm on my second one already. I discovered this not so long ago, but damn. It's the best thing that's ever happened to me. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just blending away with the dual fiber brush. I feel this is like the most natural way to like blend it in. And I was using a tart blush all over. It's a pretty like nude blush I'll have it linked up below and then the makeup geek highlighting palette with Catherine Knights oh my god I love it I love it I had just recently put it down because I had filmed this video a few weeks ago but yeah I need to go back on it <laughs> and I'm just priming my lashes with the Lancome lash primer this is like a sample size because I'm not a fan of lash primers I don't it's not that I'm not a fan I just feel like they're pointless I guess and I'm going in with the Huda Beauty palette just to define my crease a little bit. Like I said, nothing crazy. Like to give it some color in my lid. Just so that everything ties together. This is the shade Sandalwood, I believe. I am obsessed with this palette. Like the mattes in this palette is like awesome. So yeah, I'm just doing that with the Morphe M441. It's just a long long hair blending brush I love it but yeah just whatever color you prefer on your crease you can use your bronzer any type of shade you don't have to put anything I just felt like this would give it like a nice pop you know and now I'm coating my lashes and I'm going to use like two to three different types of mascaras the first one is the benefit roller lash I do like a nice clumpy spidery lash kind of like Kathleen lights um, I do curl them I just didn't show it in this video but yeah I curl them and I apply like a mini coat of like 
two to three different mascaras, like I said. But yeah, don't forget to subscribe, guys, and like this video. Um, I would definitely appreciate it. Then I'm, I'm using the Too Faced Born Better Than Sex Mascara. And again, she's doing a whole bunch of coats because, yeah. Now I'm lining my lips with Urban Decay's lip liner in 1993. Um, I'm doing like a new lip, of course, you know. And I'm just lining my lips and I think I'm going to fill them in all the way with this. This is my favorite color. Um, but I like to do like an ombre effect with it, so you're gonna see that I'm gonna do like lighter in the center, and I'm gonna go for a glossy lips just to make my my face look fresh and awake and nice. Again, I do this for when I'm going to school, work, and early in the morning. And now I'm using the Too Faced, I think it's called Melted Nude lipstick, and yeah, I'm going to top that off with another lipstick because I have to be extra like that and this is the bite beauty lipstick I have to see what shade it is I will let you guys know and I'm again I'm just outlining a little bit because I wanted to do that ombre effect even though it looks all the same shade I don't know and then I'm gonna go in with buxom gloss in white Russian so yeah that is pretty much it again I didn't film my outro so I just insert a picture of what my makeup looks at the end i hope you guys enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys in my next video bye